Hello and welcome to this Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how you can make this footwear try on lens in Lens Studio. All of the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens will be linked down below. And yeah, let's create. In order to make this lens, we will be using a template. Go to Templates on Lens Studio and search for Foot Tracking or Foot Try-On. Here you can see there's Footwear Try-On and this is what we'll be using in order to make the lens. Go ahead and open this file. Once the template is open, this is what you'll see. You can see that you can switch between the footwear options and that the footwear is properly tracked to the person's foot. You can also see that there are hints that's being displayed here. Okay, how do we add our own footwear to this lens? Firstly, I'm going to remove this UI camera. The UI camera basically allows me to switch between the number of footwear options and this is not something that I want right now. So you can come here and just disable the carousel option. I'm going to keep the footwear tracking hints just so that it's easy for the user to use. Next, you can come here and see the options for your footwear. I'm going to turn off sneaker 1 and I'm going to turn on sneaker 2. I'm going to do this because in sneaker 2, you have the option of an occluder. What an occluder does is it separates the person's leg so that it looks like the foot on the person's foot. So this is something we're going to use in order to make our lens. In order to use our third edit me sneaker, go into shoe controller and I'm going to remove sneaker one and the second option. So you can see that these sneakers have been added. Next, we're going to open our own footwear option. You can either download free 3D objects from sketchfab.com and download a 3D model of a shoe or you can directly do it in Lens Studio. Go into your asset library 3D and then search for sneakers. You can see that your try on sneaker pack is right here. Click on import. If you're importing your own file in Lens Studio, just drag and drop it into your resources panel. Next, once it's downloaded, you can see that our sneakers are right here. When you download 3D objects, make sure that all your textures are being compressed and only then you can continue using Lens Studio. So just wait for this to get compressed on its own. Once you can see that in the meshes, you have two meshes, a left foot and a right foot. If you download your 3D models from anywhere else, you can see a bunch of different meshes here but in practice there will be two sneakers one for the right foot and one for the left foot in order to change this first we're going to delete our 3d model which is already on the foot just hit delete next click on the mesh drag and drop it into left foot make sure that this is above your occluder here, you can download the mesh that you don't need. And I'm going to move only one shoe to the leg. You can do this by clicking on this tool right here. I'm going to move this. Turn it. Move it to the back. And move it to the bottom. Make sure that you don't move your occluder at all.
you can repeat the same thing for the other foot as well delete the right foot drag and drop our 3d material delete the mesh that you don't need and then move the foot to where you want it to be Here you can see that there's no material added. In order to add material, if you're using the try-on lens, just drag and drop the material into the material of the shoe mesh. You can do the same thing for the next foot as well. And yeah, this is how you can add your own sneakers to your foot in Lens Studio. If you like that tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.